Good evening um, and welcome to this July 8th, 2024 Sylvania Board of Education meeting. Adam, please call the roll. Ms. Hoffman? Here. Mrs. Conklin? Here. Mrs. Lavalette? Here. Mr. Feller? Here. Mrs. Johnson? Here. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, this evening we are going to begin with public participation for items that are on the agenda. As far as public participation, you will have three minutes to speak. Um, you need to state your name and address for the record at the beginning. One second. Kevin Baldeff. What do you want? You want this here? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. Thank you. Uh, my name is Kevin Baldiff. I live at 5020 Rock Creek Drive. Um, thank you for hearing me. Um, I'm talking about the redistricting of Quarry Ridge. I have two kiddos that go to school in Savannah. Uh, as an educator myself, I feel that redistricting my family and a couple other family members that are here tonight to talk uh, will be detrimental to my kiddos. Um, I feel that um, one of the biggest things, if you're moving a kid out of their element, uh, it's, I mean, you're, you're gonna affect their friendships, their grades, things like that. Um, they've already put in place at the school that they already know. Um, what we're asking for tonight is if you do grandfather them into the school that they're supposedly gonna be able to stay, that we're asking for a bus. Uh, for both my kiddos and a couple of kiddos that uh, go to the same school at Central Trail and then here at Timberstone. Um, I just feel like not being able to communicate too much to the public also, that was a downfall for us. We had that email sent out for the um, text message. We feel that if that would have been broadcasted a little bit more, we'd have been engaged a little bit more to the board meetings. Um, being an education myself, I know you know we, communication's key, so I feel like the communications kind of on that end did not do what we thought should have been done. Um, I feel as blindsided as much as the next person that lives in Quarry Ridge. Um, it sounds like you are now trying to have open enrollment for North U and South U. Is that what's discussed tonight? That seems odd to me. If you're going to redistrict me, and then you're going to redistrict again, and then have open enrollment to both the high schools. Um, I feel, yes, I understand Savannah's getting big. Um, I feel that you guys need to have a plan going forward, not just now. It just feels like you're just making a plan, and then we're going to change it in five years. I understand we're getting big, um, but I feel that if we're going to get redistricted again, what does that look like for us? Is it going to be set in stone for 20 years, 30 years, whatever, whatever it needs to be, it needs to be set in stone now. Um, so that's what I'm asking. Uh, you could talk about it, discuss it. That's what I would like. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Cook. Hi, I'm Michael Cook. I live at 5028 Rock Creek Drive. Um, I'm also talking about the same thing Kevin had, um, some of the issues with uh, this whole redistricting. Um, one was why weren't we notified before the decision was made? Um, I feel like if you're going to affect my children in a situation, the parent needs to be notified before the decision is made so that way we can talk about it. Um, busing, I know that they said there would be no busing um, involved if we chose to stay in Central Trail, but my question is why can't we get busing if we can make one unified spot at the end of the street? The bus literally passes our house anyway. It literally passes the subdivision. Everyone south of Brent goes to Central Trail. The bus will go down Brent. Why couldn't our kids stand at the corner of Brent and uh, I think it's Island to get picked up? Um, 
Then I also heard that in five years, they're going to redistrict again. So does that mean Quarry Ridge is going to be on the docket again for a redistricting? Are we going to get moved again? Is my kid going to go to high school to Northview now and then get redistricted to Southview? And then alternatively, all my kids have now made friendships at Central Trail. They're getting redistricted to Highland. So now my kid has to make all new friends. And granted, yeah, they're, they're personable, they will. But these are these kids that these kids enjoy. And you're taking them out of their element. Um, secondly, we knew the subdivision was going to have 111 houses at the start of the subdivision. Why did we not make the choice to send them to Northview from the start? Why did we wait till these kids get acclimated into school and then move them after that? That doesn't make any sense and whoever made that decision isn't doing their job. That needs to change. There's subdivisions going in all over. We know how many houses are going into those areas. We should be looking at it and forecasting and sending these kids where they need to go, not uprooting their lives because someone didn't do their job. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dr. Molly? I would like to first say thank you for your comments to um, our public participants, um, our parents here tonight. Um, typically, we do not, so that you know, we will continue with our agenda. It is a public comment, and I just want to make sure everyone understands we're not being um, dismissive of your concerns. Traditionally, we don't get into a Q&A type situation. However, in that we have your names and phone numbers, contact information, I will personally reach out to both of you and address some of the comments that you've made just to ensure that you have accurate information. Um, I'm going to go on the record by just really quick, and I'm kind of breaking tradition here, but. Um, not sure where the five-year plan redistricting came from. That has not been a topic of conversation. But it gives me an opportunity to meet with both of you, talk with you on the phone, or if you want to come in and meet with me to address those specific issues that you brought forth this evening, okay? So I want you to know you have been heard, and we respect your concerns and your comments, okay? So thank you. Um, Moving on with our agenda, I would like to recommend item 3.1, which is for an overnight field trip. And this is for our students for North, from Northview to go to Penn State University. And it is actually for um, a annual team camp for our volleyball team at Northview. And it is for July 19th through the 21st. A moment for a moment. I'll second. I'll Comments or questions? Please call the roll. Julie? Yes. Greg? Yes. Jill? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Kim? Yes. Thank you. I would like to recommend item 3.2 be removed from the table from the item 6.4 from the agenda on June 24th, 2024 meeting. Wait, what? So, <laughs> we're, wait, 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 I, I, 3.2. Are you saying you want to untable it? We're going to untable it. We're going to untable it. Yes. All right. I'll move. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. Mm -hmm. I'll second. Thank you. Adam, please call the roll. Greg? Yes. Julie? Yes. Kim? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Jill? Yes. Thank you. I would like to recommend item 3.3, .3, a policy for a second read in regards to the intra-district open enrollment, grandfathering open enrollment um, board policy. I recommend it for approval. I move approval. I'll second. So um, I have a question. Uh, comments or questions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've read your mind. <laughs> so. I know we've, we've talked a lot about this policy and um, I helped, we all participated in reviewing it and, and I'm generally in favor of it. Um, is there a way we can, uh, one of my concerns, and I voiced this a little bit, is that when this happened to us and it happened to s several of us that are on the board right now, Three we, had of us. A year, <laughs> we had a year to prepare 
for the bus situation. And just so that some of you know, I'm still driving my um, youngest daughter to school, grandfathering. And I made that choice for our family, but I had a year. And I'm kind of concerned about the short notice. I'm in favor of this policy, and I understand why, and I, I, I'm hoping we can get some good information out. Um, and I do agree that we should have probably been more proactive sooner to get these folks information because it shouldn't have been blindsided um, like this. And I, I think a lot of us thought they, the information had been sent out. So with that understanding, and I know there are multiple things in play, including me in my neighborhood where we're still driving our kids to McCord, we can't just say, oh, we're gonna provide them transportation. It's, it would impact a lot of people. And then we also have um, legal issues that we have to think about. But can, with this policy in place, is there still room to perhaps adjust that or make, can you see us passing this policy and still maybe making adjustments on the timeline if we need to? This policy does specifically say no transportation, so we would have to change that. Well, would we be able to make exceptions for short, or, implement, or implement the redistricting that we already approved at a later, I, I don't know, I mean. Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying, because I, right. I think this is a separate issue from that, and I agree with you. I mean, I, I thought the information had gone out sooner, right. and it, that, that was my miss, and that's fine. I, I might have misunderstood, but I was surprised. Same. It had not gone out to the folks a lot sooner, so I'm a little, you know, disturbed by that. And I think what you're saying is, can we change that redistricting, like, give them some time, understanding we understand why we need to do it, right? you know. I mean, I'm good with new enrollment, and I'm also good with the grandfathering, and, but I, I feel like we, giving somebody a month to make that decision is more than I'm comfortable with. Um, so this policy says for the 24-25 school year, are you, are you suggesting we push back to 25-26? Well, I'm saying we, this, policy, this policy is fine the way it is. What I'm suggesting is that we revisit the one we passed. The oh, way right, right. Because we got, okay. Well, or maybe and, it is. It, yeah, it really and, isn't. The policy specifically says no transportation. We could pass it and then pass a revised policy mm -hmm. providing a limited amount of transportation if we wanted to do that. But um, or this, could this we, policy specifically says no transportation. But could, or could we just leave this policy as it is and change the implementation of the, grand, of the redistricting to new enrollees starting now and then current enrollees one year from now? The policy states now for new enrollees, they would automatically go right. for the redistricting. Right. What you would be talking about are the 13 students. I'm talking about the 13 kiddos. Students that are already enrolled. Yes. Could we push that back a year to give everybody time to decide what they want to do? Um, I, I, and we don't, I, I guess, I'm comfortable with the grandfathering policy as it is. What I'm not comfortable doing is making these guys decide in a month yeah. what and, they want to do. And, and I, I agree with that. I mean, I, like everyone else, we all thought the information went out. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. I would even be okay with grandfathering the 13 students that are already and have it be for new new enrollees. Well, they are. They are being grandfathered. They are oh, grandfathered. Question okay. transportation. Okay. Question. I mean, they're being offered exactly. grandfathered. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. Exactly. But I, yeah, I would be And I would like to support, I would like to explore yeah, we can't decide that right no, now. No, no. Right. I, that's a bigger question than I think. And not, I didn't know if anyone else had but, any comments. But we can always go members. back and revisit and pass a new policy if we'd like to, right? If you would like, as a Board of Education, to revisit it, adding yes. transportation, what you would need to do is take the policy that we have, the grandfathering policy, and then you would have to revise it and specifically put in grandfathering specific to Quarry Ridge for transportation. Because historically, Sylvania has not provided transportation for redistricting, and um, we would have, you would have to go back and amend that, or you would pull it out now, but you would need to amend the, po the policy. Well, yeah. You would have to revise yeah, it. I, mean, I guess I'd have to go back and look at it. Adam, do, exactly we, do we have to do two reads for a policy, or can we do an emergency, pass it on an emergency basis? I think you have to do two reads. I'd have to do some research on that. Historically, that's all, what we've always been done. You could also, if you know the wording that you want modified, you could amend your resolution to include like the changes you guys talked about and then approve it. 
will approve the pot. Yeah, but it sounds like we need Dr. to Mountain explore. Like, yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. We, I mean, we can't put that on her right now. I and say, oh, no, we're gonna, yeah, no, yeah, we are going to decide because the five of us aren't necessarily qualified to make that decision. We need to give her the time to I agree. explore it. I would not do that to her or to, you know, Melissa or mm -hmm. Tim or you or you know any of you. But we need to give you the time. And to I do wanted that. to make sure that we can do it and do it effectively where right. it accommodates our families. Right. I think we also, and Melissa is here tonight, thank you um, for coming. Um, I think we need to explore with transportation what that would look like, time frame, bus, availability. Um, also, give us an opportunity, as we mentioned, there's some litigation things that are going on. We do not want to compromise that and situation. And transportation issues and bus driver issues. Mm -hmm. Right, and I get the Many transportation factors. part. And so, and I, and I understand that if we didn't redistrict these 13 kiddos, that would mean double. And I, I get that, that's a problem. But you know, there might be, again, there might be another option that we don't see right here, right now. Thank okay. you. For these 13 right. children that we have. Okay. And of the 13 children, I am not certain that all 13 children are opting so to remain can, at right. their school, at Central Trail, at, right. at Timberstone, or at Southview. Knowing the feeder pattern. Correct. And make the choice now. Correct. And if we give you some time, you might be able to be creative, and maybe not. Correct. I mean, we don't know. But it, it's worth doing some due diligence, but I also think, again, I know there are applications for open enrollment, I do believe, are due here in the next couple mm -hmm. of weeks or next month or so anyway. But of those children who, again, that are in their school right now, they have the option of letting us know we're fine with going to, for example, Highland right. with the rest of the community right. that's north of Brent. Um, or they will let us know if they're grandfathering. We don't know those numbers. We know that there are 13 students, I believe. Okay. So if we pass this policy tonight, the grandfathering policy as is, which again, I'm fine with, but it's with the understanding that we're going to continue to explore ways mm -hmm. to accommodate and provide a little bit. I just feel like we've not provided enough time and that I'd like to try and rectify Understood. that. Understood. Okay. Understood. Absolutely. That's fair. And there may be nothing we can do. I don't know. But I'd like to think there's something that we can do. Um, but yeah, I, I get that there's a lot of moving parts and considerations to be made. And I think too, moving forward, um, recognizing, again, I, I would like to deal with the real numbers and moving right. forward what that looks okay. like and to make sure that we don't set a precedent going against what we've done historically. Yeah. Um, and that's some language, even if we were to remodify, we pass this tonight or you pass it tonight and we modify it later, making sure that we also craft the language that reflects that. Okay. And I think my children were also redistricted in 2018 and I chose to transport them and I did that for four years and it was, it, it's a pain. Um, but I, I actually switched jobs so to allow me to do it. So I understand what the situation right. you all are in. That's um, kind of what I'm thinking about with the timing. But I, I think we need to figure out if we, we, I think we do need to pass this tonight just so that we can um, Move forward. have the certainty that there is going to be grandfathering and people can decide what they want to do and then continue to evaluate the potential. But I, I think, I do think that it would require a modification of this policy for us to provide transportation because we certainly don't want to provide transportation that is not sanctioned by our policies. Right. Um, and in addition to that, if you take transportation out of this policy as is right now, for those individuals who are still in the district and grandfathering, like yourself, mm -hmm. then we would be opening up ourselves to grandfather right. those families as well. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So do we want to vote on this policy? Yeah, it's okay. still pending. Adam, call the roll. Julie? Yes. Jill? Yes. Greg? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Kim? Yes. Thank you. OK, can you just clarify for our audience what we just passed? Oh. We just passed a policy sure. that does allow grandfathering. So you will have the option to grandfather. It does not currently provide transportation. We are going to continue to explore that, and we will get with you. Yes. Sure. Sure. Yes. 
<laughs> Hi guys. I do apologize. I'm not trying to be rude. Okay. But Can you just say your name and address for the record? Yep. So my name is Allison Wilson. We live in Quarry Ridge. We're 5101 Rock Creek Drive. Um, my question regarding the grandfathering is, so we currently have one student enrolled at Central Trail. Um, her name is Ella Wilson. I have two other daughters. So when you're referring to grandfathering a family in, are you referring to if she has siblings? Because I potentially will have then three kids at three different schools if you only grandfather in existing it, enrolled students. It's, it's existing students. Um, you can request mm -hmm. um, at the superintendent's discretion for additional children. Okay. So, so it, but it would be at the superintendent's discretion. Okay. Thank you. That was my question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Tversky. Thank you. I have one item I will recommend for approval, item 4.1, for a non-teaching pupil activity contract and its associated resolution for the upcoming 24-25 school year. I move approval. Is there a second? A second. Comments or questions? Adam, please call the roll. Julie? Yes. Kim? Yes. Tammy? Yes. Greg? Yes. Jill? Yes. Thank you. Um, with that, I will move that we go into executive session for purposes of considering the employment of public employees. I'll second. Adam, call the roll. Uh, Tammy? Yes. Jill? Yes. Julie? Yes. Kim? Yes. Greg? Yes. And we will not be taking action after the meeting, after the executive session. Thank you.